Mark Gurman, I learned a new word today, bezel. What's that? <laughs> a bezel is uh, basically the smartphone term for the border uh, around the screen. And so for this year, the big visual change on the iPhone 15 Pro, at least from the front, will be that those borders are going to get about a third thinner. Now, that might not seem like a lot, but the technology behind it, funny enough, is inside Apple. It's called LiPo, uh, L-I-P-O. And it's basically a special manufacturing technology that allows them to get the screen closer to the borders, closer to the edges. And so it's a big visual improvement. Uh, someday in the future, Apple wants to have a borderless phone with no buttons, no camera cutouts in the front. And so, of course, this is another uh, step towards that. In the power on, I encourage the audience to go and read the latest power on. It has those new details about what we expect. But you, you, you're kind of more downbeat about upgrades to the watch. Why are they going to be modest? So last year was a pretty significant update for the Apple Watch. You had the Apple Watch Ultra, uh, which is the first all new Apple Watch design. Uh, that was the first all new Apple Watch design in four years, right? So quite a bit of time. You had a redesigned I, uh, Apple Watch SE, which is the entry level Apple Watch. And then you had a pretty minor update to the main Apple Watch with the Series 8. But nonetheless, you had three new models, right? And so you can't really do three new models, including two new designs in one year, and then the next year expect anything major, right? So this year is pretty moderate. You're going to see a new Apple Watch Series 9. That's the standard Apple Watch. And then you're going to see a second generation Apple Watch uh, Ultra. I would expect some new colors, but faster processors is going to be the talk in addition to the new watch OS 10 of the models for this fall.